Hello guys, it's James here from Inside United and welcome here to today's video. Now I know you're thinking, why are you in a forest? Well basically the news has just broken out that Alexis Sanchez is now a Manchester United player. Alexis Sanchez has just joined Manchester United from Arsenal, in which I think I didn't actually check. It's a swap exchange deal for Henrik Mkhitaryan, who has gone the other way. Henrik Mkhitaryan has left Manchester United and he's gone to Arsenal. In today's video, we're talking about Henrik Mkhitaryan and Alexis Sanchez. But we'll talk about Alexis Sanchez first because he is now a Manchester United player. He will wear the number seven shirt. Um, and yeah, you know, as I said, we hope to see him in Burnley. If not, we'll see him hopefully, definitely next Wednesday for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, no, not next Wednesday, Wednesday after that, or at least for Yeovil Town in the FA Cup, um, which is coming up uh, next week. But Manchester United have completed, completed the sign of Alexis Sanchez. Now, you can talk about the salary, you can talk about the wages, you can talk about um, how much of a signing on fee, how much the agent fee is. You can talk about all that all you want, really, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, you know, the valuation, I know we swapped him for Mkhitaryan, but for me, I would value Mkhitaryan at maybe 20, 5, 30 million, um, around 30 million. And as I said, realistically, you've got to look at it then. Uh, if it was going to be just a cash fee for um, Alexis Sanchez, it was only going to be 30 million, 30 to 35 million. And I think 30 million for a player like Alexis Sanchez. Okay, yes, he's 29, but he is absolutely world class. He is quality. He's Arsenal's best player, if not second best behind Mersut Ozil, who let's hope will snatch off them in the summer. But I doubt that will happen now because I don't think they're going to want to sail to us twice in a row. But they did it with Van Persie. Could it be a second Van Persie? Well, it's definitely a second Van Persie here with Alexis Sanchez. And who knows, we might even get Ozil. But as I said, you know, I think Alexis Sanchez, he's a fantastic player. There's no doubt on that. He's a real world-class player. And, you know, if there's any Arsenal fans telling you that he's not, then they're just obviously bitter. And they're obviously just salty because they've just lost one of their best players who has served them so brilliantly over the last couple of years. But Alexis Sanchez is a fantastic top, top individual he's a fantastic athlete fantastic performer and he'll bring goals assists chance created and a real quick fast tempo to manchester united's games i've been watching alexis sanchez a couple of times in his arsenal career and there's been times when when arsenal have just been blowing teams away they come out with a really fast tempo alexis sanchez is the one who's really sort of initiating that tempo and you know I saw against Tottenham at home this season Sanchez was superb and also against United a couple of seasons back when they beat us 3-0 by scoring like three times in the first 20 minutes Alexis Sanchez is a fantastic fantastic top buy and I think as I said if you're going to buy anyone in January I think usually they are a top top player because you know, you don't usually buy anyone in January. And as I said, usually it's difficult to actually get someone in January because they're only usually available in the summer. I mean, as I said, that's the other point is obviously in the summer, then we could have got Alexis Sanchez for just um, for free. But the point is, the reason why we've gone in for him now and paid 30, well, swapped him for Mkhitaryan. Uh, the reason why we've done that, in my opinion, I think is because obviously when it comes to the summer, you're going to have City, you're going to have Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal, let's face it, every team in the world should be coming in. I know Obviously, teams like Oldham Athletic and and that can't probably afford his wages, or they won't be able to afford his wages. But as I said, every top team, like um, every top six Premier League side, all the top teams in Germany, all the top teams in Spain, you would imagine that they will go in for Alexis Sanchez. Had it got to the point where, as I said, you know, you know he couldn't, um, uh, he ran out of his contract at Arsenal and he wasn't then available on a free transfer. So as I said, that's why I think United have gone for him now. Now, as I said, it looked like he was set in stone going to Manchester City. Manchester City, Pep Guardiola wanted him. So that's an even better reason. Another reason why we should be happy that we have got the services of Alexis Sanchez because he looked like he was going to be a City player. He looked like he was going to further strengthen City and Pep Guardiola was going to get another fantastic player. But no, Jose Mourinho has gone in there, hijacked the move. Now, in all fairness, City did pull out. So, so we can't say he's ridiculous rejected City or we can't say you know as I said United have won the race we sort of have won a little bit of a race because as I said you know they were in the race they just pulled out in the last minute when it looked like Sanchez was going to choose United and the reason why they pulled out I think was down to the fact that as I said you know they couldn't afford the wages and yeah that was probably one of the main reasons they couldn't afford the wages which Sanchez wanted but don't start saying oh was it pep or was it money because it was fairly even let's face it you know both you know Manchester City and Manchester United could afford the players wages both Manchester United and Manchester City could 
you know sort of buy him and you know pay his weekly wage his demands you know it's just City didn't weren't willing so much to be as high United maybe paid a little bit more but at the end of the day I think at this moment in time United you know you know City they're a bigger team you know and I'm sorry sorry let me say that differently City they're a better team but they're not a bigger team you know the t league table shows that City are a better team but United are by far a much bigger team and United will always be a bigger team for Man Sorry about that cutting off. I have a lot of problems with sort of storage on my phone and I, that's what I record on. So sorry for cutting it off there. But as I said, you know, Manchester City at this moment in time are a better football team. You can see that by the league table, but Manchester United are a bigger team and they always will be a bigger team. So at the end of the day, if, Pe if Gillen Balagay or some City fan is giving you stick and saying, you know, he only chose you for the money. And like I said, Gillen Balagay has been all over it. He's saying, what is it, Alexis? Is it Pep or is it money? Like literally, the only reason you'd go to City is because you want to play football for Pep. The only reason why you would want to come to United is for money. That is not true. I do understand what people will say is obviously if he went to City he's got more chance of winning the league, he's got more chance of maybe winning things but don't start saying oh yeah he's only coming here for the money because at the end of the day that is so ironic especially coming from City fans because let's face it City would not be the team they are if it wasn't for money. People like Yaya Torre, um, Sergio Aguero, all those sort of players would not be playing for Manchester City now if they did not offer them the money. Because let's face it, back in the day when they had Alano and, you know, um, who else did they have? You know, I can't remember who else they had, like Silver and stuff like that. When they came, they came just for the money and just the money. Now to people like Sane and Sterling are more likely coming now because City are becoming a very good team. They've got Pep Guardiola. No, no, let's be honest there, you know, they have got some good players. But as I said, don't believe people and don't listen to people who are saying, oh, we only came to United for the money. Because let's face it, United, they won three, well, two trophies last year. They've won more Premier League titles than anyone else. They've won three Champions League titles. They've won the same amount of FA Cups as Arsenal, I think, or have Arsenal got one more. They've won more FA Cups than any other team apart from Arsenal. Manchester United are the most... So, you know, Alexis Sanchez hasn't just joined Manchester United just because he wants higher wages and because Manchester United could offer more money. Manchester United are the most, you know, successful English team. They play at a fantastic stadium. We've got good players like Pogba, Martial and De Gea here. We have the ambition to play in the uh, win the title. We're second in the league, you know. So, yeah, apart from City, who else could, you know, give Alexis Sanchez, you know, a better chance of winning the league at the moment? Apart from City. So as I said, you know, it's not just, oh yeah, he's only chosen United for money. Because at the end of the day, you know, as I said, City offered him enough. We're not talking about this as a homeless man choosing whether he wants to work at Tesco's or Sainsbury's. We're talking about a really good footballer who's been living on a high wage for ages now at Arsenal and Barcelona, who has chosen between City or United. And okay, yes, United had offered more money, but because of the situation the teams are in at the moment and how City are first and United are second, United probably had to offer more money. Basically, the main point I'm trying to say is, as I said, we're not talking about he's literally joined like Wolves or something just because they're offered more money than Wolves. We're talking about a team like United who have a better, better, better past and I think, again, will still have a very good future. So, as I said, don't listen to the people who say... Uh, again, it's cut out. I'm really sorry that it keeps cutting. But as I said, you know, I'm going to wrap it up here. Alexis Sanchez is a fantastic player. He's going to bring a lot of good things to Manchester United. I'm hoping he's going to help United push on next season and maybe win the title. But as I said, Sanchez is a fantastic sign, especially when it comes from a direct rival like Arsenal. And as I said, we've just nicked Arsenal's best player and we've swapped him for a player who's not been doing very well. And as I said, I'm, I'm a little bit sad to see Henrik Mkhitaryan go. If we we're going to sell him, I would rather have sold him to a team like Borussia Dortmund. You know, it's clear that he's just gone down the path of Kagawa or Memphis and he's not quite hit it off as we were hoping to but as I said you know li li deep down as I said it's a shame that Mkhitaryan has gone but realistically as I said he wasn't doing enough here he was a bit lazy he didn't re Jose didn't like him so as I said it's better to sort of get someone like Sanchez who doesn't want to be at Arsenal uh, and then let them have Mkhitaryan then obviously have Mkhitaryan suffering here because as I said we've already got quite a competition for places and as I said Mkhitaryan can't get in the team already so obviously if we now bring in Sanchez he's going to be higher up the pecking order than Mkhitaryan he's just not going to get a game time and as I said it's a shame but he's not done well but I just don't think you know he's he's just he's not adapted to life here at Old Trafford maybe he'll do better at Arsenal I sort of hope he does and I sort of hope he doesn't but as I said it's a shame to see Henry Mkhitaryan go I'm a little bit sad to see him go because as I said I think he is again you know you look at his Bundesliga stats he's a very good player but overall you know as I said I think we've got the better side of the deal Sanchez is a much better footballer than Henry Mkhitaryan uh, and as I said 
you know, if Sanchez wasn't available on a free in the summer because his contract expired, then let's face it, Sanchez would probably be about 80, 90 million. So as I said, to swap him for someone like Mkhitaryan, who, let's face it, wasn't doing enough, and we all thought was going to go anyway, it's, you know, a really good deal. We've done really well to swap someone like Sanchez, who's a better footballer than Mkhitaryan. You know, it's, it's just superb. And as I said, it works for both parties, but United, you know, they've got the better player by an absolute mile and as I said, I'm really looking forward to Alexis Sanchez coming to Manchester United. Anyway, that would do me. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope you will look forward to seeing Alexis Sanchez play for Manchester United soon. Hopefully he will hit it off and hit the ground running and show why Manchester United have just bought, uh, well, swapped him for Henrik Mkhitaryan. But as I said, while I do feel bad for Henrik Mkhitaryan, I think Sanchez is a much better footballer and I feel like he will 